Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I am memory planning and this will be for the week of August 31st through September 6th. Um, and for this week I have a kit from Jackson Pepper that I've been hoarding since I think back in April or May and it's such a pretty kit, it's called Heart. I'm not sure if it's still available in her shop because I did pick it up a few months ago, um, but it is in a really pretty rose gold foil which I don't use very often, um, so I'm excited to pull in some of my rose gold foiled icons. So on this page we have the eight full boxes and a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar. There are a couple of like small washi strips or I think like foiled headers down here um, and it has like little heart, uh, foiled hearts over it. Here we have the foiled headers. We've got some half boxes and some quarter boxes at the bottom. And on this page, we have the bottom washi over here. We've got some date covers and some uh, vertical flags over here. It has like a little foiled bow on top. And then I believe these are washi strips of different sizes. And the last page here has the icons. We've got these bow checklists, a weekend banner, which is so pretty. Just look at that. And we have a water tracker, which I don't really use. I wonder if I can um, turn that into like a happy moments tracker or something. We've got three habit trackers down here, some little things, and then these uh, shorter flags over here on this side. And oh, there are like two little circles here at the bottom as well. Um, so it's been a while since I've used a kit from Jackson Pepper, I think. So this will be kind of fun to, to pull in. And without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm really excited that I've been catching up pretty quickly. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do some extra spreads. I've been wanting to do like Q and A's and challenges. So hopefully I'll be able to get to them. Um, if you have any questions that you would like me to answer as part of the Q and A, feel free to leave them down down below. I do have some already from a challenge that was started by a planner girl, but if you have any additional questions or just things that you would like to know, um, definitely leave me a comment down below and I will compile them for a Q&A video in the future. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started and as usual, I'm going to place down my bottom washi first and then build the rest of the spread from there. I had to trim down my bottom washi a little bit so that they could fit in the space at the bottom of my recollections planner, which is the planner that I'm using right now. And I really love the sprinkles of rose gold foil on that bottom washi. I think it's so pretty and just adds a really nice touch of foil. And then moving to the sidebar, I decided to cover up that September 2020 at the top and I just placed down the quote box over it. This box says, start each day with a grateful heart, which is always a really good reminder. Then I used a foiled header underneath as a device and then I placed down one of the habit trackers to track my working out. I pulled in a This Week header and used a bow checklist to mark my happy moments. And then underneath that, I pulled in a dinners header, also from the kit with a Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners for the week. And I had quite a bit of space at the bottom, so I think I ended up layering two washi strips to close out that space. I then moved to the date covers and I go ahead and place them all down. These ones came with the kit and the date dots I believe are ones that I found from I think Nikki plus three. It came with a kit that I had previously used um, and I just happened to have all the dates that I needed. So it worked out perfectly. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and start with Monday. On Monday, I first placed down a today header at the top. I took the day off on Monday because I was going in to get my wisdom teeth removed. Um, the flag is from the kit and that day off script sticker is from With Love Sticker Co. To add some decoration, I also pulled in this little foiled heart from um, a shop called The Pretty Pink Co. I just got those in my collection. Um, my friend picked me up that morning to take me to my appointment and I marked that using a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. I then placed down a full box and in the middle of that box, I marked that I had my wisdom teeth extracted. I was supposed to get all four of them out, but there were some complications with my bottom ones. So I ended up just taking out the top two for now and I will deal with the bottom two next year when my insurance resets because it's so expensive if you go over that insurance max. Um, but anyways, everything went well with the extraction. My boyfriend picked me up afterwards and we went to get my prescription for the antibiotics and things like that. Um, so I used a little icon from the kit to mark that and then on the quarter box I pulled in a pillow sticker I think that's from Happy Sherpa Papery and I used that to mark taking a nap when I got home. 
on the half box, I pulled in this angel wing sticker, which I just recently received from a shop called Boulder Bond, and it worked out really perfectly because I wanted to mark that my friend came over and dropped off some flowers and some ice cream for my recovery, which was so sweet of her. She's such an angel, so I just thought those wings were perfect, and I also pulled in another foiled heart from the Pretty Pink Co. At the bottom, I had to have soup for dinner that night, so I decided to mark that using a little things, and that concludes Monday, so I go ahead and move to Tuesday. I first placed down a full box and a header on top of that, then moving to the top, I used a quarter box and a work from home script sticker, which is from With Love Sticker Co., and I believe that heart sticker is from Nikki Plus 3. It came with a set of date dots that I had used. Underneath that, I wanted to mark a meeting, so I used, I think it's a flag that came in the kit, along with a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. I then placed down a half box and a header just to kind of space things out so that I know how much space I was working with. And then I used an IEP flag from Jador Planning to mark that I had an IEP meeting that afternoon. Underneath the to-do header, I placed down a quarter box. That lipstick sticker is from Fox and & Pip, and I use that to mark getting ready for a Zoom costume party with my friends. We've been doing these every week slash every other week since the summer has ended, and they've been really fun. It's always something to look forward to during the week. On the full box, I used a rose gold foiled bow. I believe that's from K Stickers Co., and I also marked that I slept early that night just because that full box is really empty and has a lot of white space, um, so I just kind of wanted to fill it up a little bit. For Wednesday, I first started by placing down a full box and I marked a morning meeting that I had in that empty space in the middle. And then underneath that, I wanted to mark that I was approved to work from home that day. I had actually gone into work that morning, but I started not feeling well because my tooth was like throbbing. And so I actually got permission to work from home the rest of the week, which was really nice and um, just really helped out with the recovery process. Um, that bow sticker is from Planning Like a Pro. And then underneath that, I used a sticky note sticker from Hayes soul sticker paired with this little pen icon from Little Star Plans to mark that I worked on emails and reports for the remainder of the workday. After work, I was able to do some filming, so I put that on a quarter box. Um, that YouTube icon is from The Pretty Pink Co., and then I used a checklist to mark some things that I did for the remainder of the day, but I also placed down a quarter box at the very bottom to mark that I had taken a bath that day because I really wasn't feeling great. I think I was having a really bad headache, so I decided to take a bath to try to alleviate that, and that Bath Girl sticker, which is so cute, is from Paper Bear Co., I go ahead and fill out the checklist and one of the things we did was watch TV. We've been watching this show called I'm Sorry and it's so good. I know I've talked about it a few times and that rose gold foiled TV sticker is from the Pretty Pink Co. Moving on to Thursday, I first placed down a to-do header at the very top. Then I used a quarter box with another pen sticker from Little Star Plans to mark that I worked from home. That script sticker is in my writing and it's from Planner Just For You. And then I had a staff meeting that morning, so I marked that using a bow paper clip sticker, which is from Sticky Fingers Co. It's the same one that I had used on Tuesday. I had another meeting afterwards, so I put that on a half box, and that laptop sticker I pulled in is from Paper and Milk, but it's one of her first stickers that she ever came out with a few years ago, so I'm not sure if that is still available anymore. Um, but anyways, underneath that, I decided to place down my favorite full box from this kit, which is the one with the heart. I did some editing that afternoon, so I pulled in this film clapper sticker, and that is from Happy Sherpa Papery. And then later that evening, I took a walk with a friend, which was super nice um, because we just got to catch up, and also we went and grabbed some yogurt from Yogurtland. Um, I marked that with a flag sticker and a shoe from Hazel Sticker, and pulled in another rose gold foiled heart from the Pretty Pink Co. For Friday, I first started by placing down a full box at the very bottom, and I also used a header on top of that to cover up the gray header of the Recollections Planner. I've been having to do that because I really try not to use whiteout with this planner. The color just doesn't match, and it really bothers me even though I try not to let it. Um, but anyways, then at the very top of Friday, I initially put down another header, and then I go ahead and use the gorgeous weekend banner on the weekend, but I ended up removing the header and placing down a half box instead and I pulled in another work from home sticker from with love sticker co in that half box underneath that I used a today header with I 
think that is a washi strip from the kit and another one of those YouTube icons from the Pretty Pink Co. to mark that I uploaded my plan with me that morning. I then had to figure out how to cover up that next gray header, which again have just been such a headache to figure out with this planner, but I decided to use, I think it was a washi strip with a bow vertical flag on top of it. And I also pulled in a utensil sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark grabbing some lunch with a friend during my lunch break that day, which is super nice because to be honest, I don't really take lunch breaks ever. Um, if I do, I'm usually working or checking emails through my lunch break. So it was just really nice actually having time to have lunch. And then underneath that, I used a puzzle sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that I worked on my puzzle that afternoon. I did some sticker organizing and I put that on a little things and then in the middle of the full box I put down another TV icon from the Pretty Pink Co to mark the TV show that we watched that night. Moving to Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, then my camera cut out without me realizing it, so um, I had placed down a flag sticker with this hot munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that we had another heat wave that happened here in Southern California, um, which is not great because they do end up causing a lot of fires, which have been really awful. Um, but anyways, underneath that, I used a coffee icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that I made some Dalgona coffee that morning. I then placed down a today header with another note sticker from Hazel Sticker and a board game or like a gaming Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we played some board games that day with some of our friends. There have been a couple that we've been really enjoying called Viticulture and Root and they've been super fun. So I decided to put that on a little things to help me remember the games that we played. And then on the quarter box at the very bottom, I marked that I had insomnia that night, which is always not fun. And that Emoji sticker I pulled in is from the Coffee Monsters Co. On Sunday, I first placed down a to-do header. Then I used a quarter box with a bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I created a trivia game for a Zoom party that I was doing the next day with my friends. I actually came up with a lot of the ideas for the trivia game the night before when I had insomnia. So I guess it actually kind of worked out in my favor, but um, I was super tired all day. And then underneath that, I used a couple washi strips to create a background. And that music note sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I used that to mark practicing the piano because there was one round of the trivia where I would be playing some songs for my friends to guess. And so I definitely had to practice that before we actually did the trivia um, and then I cut up a little things to mark that I had some pizza for lunch. I then placed down a full box underneath that and in the center space I pulled in a bow sticker from Hazel Sticker and marked that I picked up some mochi donuts that day for a little steak night dinner party that we were doing at our friend's house um, which I marked on the half box. That steak sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. I actually just got that as part of a sampler and I had saved it so it was really perfect to pull in for this occasion. And then at the very bottom I just placed down this heart sticker from Nikki Plus 3 to mark that we we ended up staying over at their house pretty late because we stayed up chatting. Um, it's been a while since we've gotten together, so there was definitely a lot of catching up to do. And that's pretty much it for this week. So I go ahead and move back to my sidebar. I didn't do any workouts this week. Initially, it was because I wasn't allowed to work out for like 24 hours um, following my teeth extraction, but the 24 hours just ended up turning into like honestly two weeks because I still haven't worked out. Um, but anyways, that's just been a really big struggle for me. It's especially with the heat wave and everything. Now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit and they will be included in a future leftovers giveaway. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested. And now I'm doing a vid wiggle so you guys can see the foiling that I pulled into this spread. As always, I like to give you guys a closer look at this spread just so you guys can see some of those details and also some of that foiling under a different light. I think it's always so pretty to see how the foiling looks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I think this turned out so pretty, even though green is definitely not my favorite color. I just think it worked really nicely with that soft pink for some reason. Um, it just like really tied it together. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Jackson Pepper always has like super beautiful kits, so I definitely would recommend her shop if 
you like that more dainty and more elegant look. Um, but yeah, that is it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any Q and A questions for me to answer in a future video, um, I would be more than happy to accept those. And, um, with that, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe, whether it's from COVID or from the fires, um, from any impending hurricanes that might be coming up, whatever it is. I hope you guys are taking care and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.